Acts chapter 1, verse 1. In the first book, O Theophilus, I have dealt with all that Jesus began to do and teach until the day when he was taken up after he had given commands through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. So it is commonly accepted that Luke is the author of the book of Acts. He's also the author of the Gospel of Luke. And he addresses both books to Theophilus. In Luke, he says, to the excellent Theophilus. It's not exactly certain who Theophilus is, but it's obviously someone of notable influence that Luke is addressing these books to. A lot of people speculate who this Theophilus was. Was he some kind of official for the Roman government? Was he quite high up in the ranks? Was he someone that commissioned Luke to write a detailed and accurate account of Christ and his interaction with his disciples, as well as the journeys and the missions of Paul the Apostle and the early church. Regardless of who Theophilus is, it's quite clear that Luke has presented a very detailed account here in the book of Acts of the life of the early church and in the life of Paul the Apostle. At the time, there was a lot of persecution against the church and a lot of accusations coming against the church and coming against Paul. Paul was involved in a lot of riots, or there was a lot of rioting that took place around Paul. Paul wasn't actually the cause of the riots. It was the religious people, the Pharisees, that stirred up the crowds. And so there was a lot of accusation coming against Paul and the early church. And so the book of Acts actually shows it from the perspective of the church and from Christians and from Paul's perspective. And it shows that actually he was innocent in all those riots. And it reveals who was actually behind the riots. And so in some sense, the book of Acts is a defense for the church and for Christians and for Paul the Apostle. It's a wonderful account and it gives us some incredible insights into the life of the early church. And so in chapter 1, Luke picks up here where Christ had risen from the dead. He'd been spending time with his disciples, teaching them about the kingdom and, uh, and then ascending into heaven. 